Hey guys, how you guys doing today? Um, I'm back at you with another Titanic survivor. Today I'm gonna try to fit in two of them. The, the cemetery closes at five and it's four o'clock. We have to find the other one. So um, I'm standing here at Ellen Wilkes. She died in um, 1955. She was a Titanic survivor, Titanic, sorry. And um, I have my run pod, pod going on right now because it's a cemetery, you know, and it's during the day, I know it's during the day. But this thing is going off, you guys. Either that or just saying that it's really hot. I'm using a selfie stick, so sorry, forgive me if it's kind of wobbly. My REM pod was going off, and it was indicating temperature. So, yeah, my, my REM pod is in the shade. Okay, her name is Ellen Wilkes. Okay, she was born in England on uh, June 13th, 1864. And um, her father was native of Sunrest, Sunset, Summer, Somerset. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my REM pod is going off over there. Um, I mean, it's not a lot to tell. She severe. She um, suffered frostbite and had to get some of her limbs amputated. Okay, she suffered severely from frostbite and partial amputation of her feet was later performed when she remained under treatment. She uh, passed away and she died April 50, April, sorry. And she died on April 27th, 1955, at City Hospital in Akron, she was 90 years old. And um, we're at Glendale Cemetery, and there's another Titanic survivor in here, and um, she passed away exactly two years uh, on the day that, you know, she was supposed to go, I guess. Um, kind of like some Final Destination stuff. So hopefully we'll find her. My REM pod has been going off. Somebody's trying to touch it. And it's hot as crap out here. I hope I don't get sunburned. But that's a little bit of stuff going on with Wilkes. Um, we're going to try to hit up the other, other graves. So 
Here's a visual of Wilkes, Titanic survivor. And then her, uh, I'm assuming, husband. I didn't really read up on it, so I'm sorry for all that. But my uh, thing's right there, and it's doing something till I come over. You can touch this, uh, spirits of the cemetery. Um, it's not going to hurt you. It's just going to make some noise. There's a dog in the background. Um, if you would like to touch my REM pod, let me know that you're here. I'm not here to hurt you. Just here to talk and communicate. As people drive by and stare at me. Okay, so I'm going to go search for the other grave. Uh, if I don't find it in time, I'll end this video and do a little outro for you guys, so. Okay guys, we're looking for, um, her name is Elizabeth Hawking. And, uh, her tombstone's a square and it says mother on it somewhere. So I'll be back if I find it. Okay guys, uh, I found it. Me and my husband are by it and this is what it looks like. Elizabeth Hawking, Titanic survivor. You hear that going off? I need to look it up to make sure if it's too hot it's not going to set it off. But it's not that hot in the shade. If someone likes to communicate with us, can you just wave your hand around that antenna? It's not going to hurt you, it's just going to make some noises and light up. Elizabeth Hawking, she was born in uh, Sicily, in the Isles of Sicily. And uh, she was born in 1860. And um, um, she married in 1884 to uh, William Rowe Hawking. So she was born in 1860 and got married in 1884. Okay, she was married when she was 24. I don't know why I was trying to think she was 14. But in the olden days, you know, people got married super young. Anyways, um, she moved, her and her family moved to, uh, Ohio, moved to Akron, and she lived over here on Rhodes, which is not very far from here. She traveled second class in the Titanic with her sister, and she, um, after she got back from the Titanic surviving, she lived here in Akron for two years. It says that 195 Gale Street in Akron says on the evening of April 14, 1914, doctors Norris and Milliken found Elizabeth lying in the middle of East Market Street in front of City Hospital. And she had a very bad head wound on her and other injuries, and she died at 5 o'clock in the morning, April 15, 1914. So she died exactly two years. Maybe not exactly. Of her anniversary, but... Yeah, that's like some Final Destination crap. My uh, REM pod is kind of going off. Like I brought my REM pod not to disrespect the spirits or, you know, I'm letting them rest in peace, but you know, it's a cemetery, it's going to be haunted, uh, whether day or night. So I wanted to try to bring out my necrophonics to see if anyone would like to talk to us because I got some heat on my last video about let them rest in peace and, you know, I feel bad about, I wasn't trying to conjure up people or try to get people to come out.
You guys hear that? Can you touch the antenna? Touch that thing sticking up. It's not going to hurt you. I don't know what's making it beep, but I'm going to bring out my uh, necrophonics real quick to see if we can get anybody to speak to us. Doesn't necessarily have to be them, you know, it's just voluntary, you know, somebody who wants to talk. Now it's beeping again. Okay, let me get in my book bag. Okay, I already have necrophonics pulled up. Anybody here like to speak to me? My name is Sarah. Yeah, REM pod's still going on. What's your name? Is there any spirits here with me? Yeah. That's pretty cool, my REM pod is going off. Is there a lot of spirits here? What year did you die? I heard the word ghost. Yeah, that's going off. Beeping. It's not even that hot in the shade. Like, I got it in the shade, and it's a nice cool breeze. Did you know the Titanic survivor? Ding? I heard the word ding twice. Okay guys, I'm not gonna bother them very much. Cause you know cemetery in the middle of the day and it's like 86 degrees. I'm hot. My husband's over there wearing all black and he, I'm sure he's hot. And the cemetery is closing soon so we're gonna dip out of here. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that uh, like and subscribe button if you haven't already and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Love you guys.